What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Okay, my apologies for not getting any videos out. I've been really busy here, especially at work, being that uh, Thanksgiving's coming up soon and all this other good stuff. Yeah. Uh, my apologies once again. All right, guys, we're going to go back to a photo that's been out forever. For the people who haven't seen it, this is more for you. Uh, a lot of people have. Now, this is from the Mars Global Surveyor, or the MGS, and it was taken with the Mars Orbiter Camera, MOC. So let's have a look at that. Because I think you guys will find this pretty interesting. All right, so this is the photo here. We can just go back. You can see the whole thing here. And it's from the Mars Orbiter camera. And you've got all the information. It says image data. And, of course, you can click on all, any of these. And the best picture to get is the TIFF. Now, you can see right here about the Mars Orbiter camera, the Mars Global Surveyor, or the MGS, Mars Orbiter camera, MOC. MOC operated in Mars orbit between... Uh, September 1997 and November 2006, it returned more than 240,000 images, spanning portions of 4.8 Martian years. All right, so let's have a look at this. I'm just going to bring it right up. Now, I believe they explain this as like a like a smooth land area or that it could have been a dried up uh, lake bed or whatever. I don't think it is. It still has that properties. It looks like it's like it has like this still water there, right? And of course, you guys will get the last say and you guys will tell me what you think is going on. What I find interesting about this is on the edge of this, look at the way these other objects are just laying, com they're completely straight right across on the edge of it. If you keep going over here, same thing applies here. You can see these little objects all across here, like it's around the actual lake. I believe this is a lake. Let's suppose this smooth white area, that is a beach, just for argument's sake. Now, when you look at this, you've got right here, it's darker. Where it'd, be, uh, where it'd be shallow, less deep, right? And then you've got this area here, which is deeper. And you can see the, the areas that are, like, shallow, some not so much over here, here. And when you come over here, you'll see this in a minute. It actually has, like, this rectangular area. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, like, right here, going down like this and going back up, almost like, almost like here on Earth where you can just back your trailer up and put your boat in, right? There's no doubt about it. You can see right here, it looks like shallow water. Um, and then, of course, it goes into the deep area. But what you also notice is right here, and I'm going to bring that a little bit better for you guys, it almost looks like it's either a raised area in the lake or it's deeper in the lake. There's a pot here and a pot here. Okay, so let's bring this in uh, Photoshop, and you can see it right here. Now, I rotated it so we can get a better angle, and especially these other pieces here, um, these other objects right here on the edge of this. See this? Right here. Now, this is without doing anything to the photo. This has just been rotated about, about 90 degrees. And you can see the way this is right here, all the way around here. All the way around here. It's got darker areas right here. That's telling me this is, this is shallow water near the edge, and it's all the way around. You can see that. Okay, so let's get this. Let's jump in this a little bit more. I'm really docking this up a little bit, and it almost looks like we got a whole forest here, guys. Look at this. That is a whole area, just forest. And you just happen to have this lake sitting right there, right? So let's bring this up a little bit more and get rid of some of the shadowing. And you can see this a little bit better now. You see this darker area here? And not so dark, but still an area right here, right? See that? Let me zoom in. You see those two areas right there? where these actual details in the actual lake. Now, this again, this area here may be, it may be slightly raised or might be lower, uh, deeper in the actual lake, right? You're docking it again. And so you can see we we're trying to bring this out, and it's got this these features in it. And again, what the hell does that, guys? It's almost like here on Earth where everybody, like they'll have houses on the lakefront, you know, next to the ocean. Uh, I noticed this right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It looks like a tower actually standing up. You can see right there, smack dab in the middle, this object right there. Um, now, this is the original one, just shopping. You can see the difference right here. See that? That's the original. And this is shopping up a bit. Let me just back out a little bit. And to me, guys, I don't know. This, to me, is a lake. I don't think it's dried up either. It actually has that kind of look to it like there's something, like there's still liquid in it, right? Let's say it is dried up. Let's say it's a dried up lake bed. Mother Nature could put something like that perfectly in a row? I mean, I'm sure it's not impossible, right? Because Mother Nature can do some really awesome things. But to me, it seemed like something that somebody had put there. You can see they have individuality. There's, there's what, one, two, three, four, five. And there's spaces in between them. You can see that. 
the space is actually in between these little small objects, or maybe much larger than we think. But you can see that, and they're all pretty much in a row, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, again, you know, when I look at this, be a lake. Here's the area I was telling you about. Let's do this first. Now, I'm just going to zoom in. This is the original photo, but right here you can see what looks like a really, really straight edge. And then it goes like this and comes back in. See that? Now watch this. What the hell? And it looks like there's other objects. That's the shopping one. And, of course, we docking it right up to here. And you can see that. It happens to be <laughs> pretty darn squared off here, at least. And it kind of kind of goes in like this. What is that, guys? I think there's still water in this lake. You know, it just looks like it still has standing water in it. It doesn't look like, like it's dried up. And the reason why I say that is because you would think over the years, the way they talk about the dust storms and everything else, you would not see this docking area. This would be all completely gone by now, I would think, from dust going on top of it. And it would actually blend this whole area in, wouldn't it? Think about it. If over the years, it's dust storms after dust storms, after, and according to them, it's millions of years. If that's true, you shouldn't see any of this docker area because there'd be no water in there, right? If it is a dried up lake bed. If that's true, then all of this would be the same color from in the middle here, all on the edge. Because there'd be nothing there to stop it from the dust from settling on it, right? And there'd be no water, no nothing, right? All right, guys, got a got another one coming up, a, a moon one, which is really wild. And it's basically got a question mark. You know, I get these people sometimes, you know, I'll put a question mark at the end of my title and like, oh, my God, this guy believes this. No, I'm actually got a question mark. Observe, read the title, and you'll see it. Um, but is it a natural phenomenon going on in this moon photo? Or is it? an actual craft, which it looks like some kind of weird craft. And I'll tell you why it looked like that to me on this next video coming up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.